All right, good Saturday morning, everybody. This is the Iceman here on the Iceman Returns YouTube channel. Uh, first off, uh, I got a couple things. Uh, this message is for Brandon. You know who you are. Quit emailing my nephew Matt about reset links to my YouTube accounts. We all know usually when you send the reset link to Matt, a day or two later, usually the channel goes down. Um, first off, we don't really care. We already know who's involved. The matter's been is being taken care of, so we don't need your your uh, reminder of re uh, sending links to Matt. Uh, he showed me the links, so I know they actually happened. So Brandon, just leave him alone because if you don't, between my sister and I, you're just going to create yourself to trouble. And of course, you're trying to link other people, and so whatever, Brandon. We already know what's going on, so you know. And don't go around saying you just find this link surfing the internet because you just don't. It's sent to Matt deliberately, so he will tell me. But I really don't care. So that is that. Now, what I was going to do this video about, basically, is about these. Rabbit TV, the USBs. Um, you've seen it advertised on TV, Rabbit TV, um, and it tells you how you can watch uh, thousands and thousands of uh, TV channels on the internet. Well, it is a little, um, uh, they don't really come out and tell you the whole, whole truth when they advertise this. Rabbit TV basically is like um, what Netflix and Hulu does where you can watch a lot of old TV shows or watch present TV shows you can watch movies you know horror sci-fi action comedy uh, whatnot um, you can watch all these things you can actually watch some live events but what it doesn't tell you is in order to watch some of these live events you do have to pay uh, like for instance I was looking at the Red Sox LA Dodger game for today and I click the link, even though it's not on yet, it sends me to the Major League Baseball site to where you got to sign up and pay a fee of like $19 for a period of time to watch free baseball games. So it's a little deceiving there. Um, also, you have links to cable channels, not all the cable channels. Um, and what I did find out by trying it out, like uh, say if you wanted to watch Monday Night Raw on the USA Network on Monday night, you would click the link for the USA Network, but it does not give you the opportunity to stream Raw live as it is actually happening. You can watch an episode of Raw after it's already been aired. You can do that. And, like, I was checking out the TV classic shows. I checked out, like, Gunsmoke, for example. It'll give you a listing of Gunsmoke shows or episodes that they're airing for a certain period of time, and then they'll change them and air different episodes. So um, it is a little deceiving with their ad on TV. Uh, so like I said, um, it's not really a direct live stream link, but it is a direct link to these channels to where you can access their programming. Um, say, you know, if you wanted to watch Burn Notice on USA, you click the USA link, and you'd scroll down and look for burn notice and then you'd click that and it'll give you so many different episodes that they're airing now for this certain period of time and you can watch any one of those episodes so uh, but it, it is pretty interesting like I said it's sort of like Netflix and Hulu um, whereas both of those Hulu plus and Netflix you pay like a fee of like eight dollars and something a month where this rabbit TV is I, I believe it's free for a year once you sign on uh, but I was checking it out. I found it, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. If you're bored and, and it's safe, you don't have cable, but you do have internet. Uh, you just plug it, get the stick, plug it in, and you can watch some old stuff or, or some present day uh, TV shows. Like it'll have Law and Order for USA, or it'll have NCIS on USA, or same thing with CBS, NBC, Fox, ABC. So, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, and I think if you bought it in the store, it's like 
I think the the USB stick is either like ten or ten or twenty dollars. I forget. Um, but uh, yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Like I said, you've seen it advertised on TV, and uh, it, it's it's a pretty neat thing. And uh, like I said, if you you look at it, you you basically see what it is. Do a little close up. And it's just a USB stick, and it plugs into your USB, obviously, and you know, and then you open it up, you, you click, you, if you first get it, you'd have to fill out a, a little form with your name and your address and whatnot, and then you create a username and password, and then uh, every time you want to use it, you just plug in the stick and log on with your username and password, and it brings you right to their homepage, and you have all your listings of everything there right in front of you, of, of what you could watch if you wanted to so so it's not bad I, I thought it was pretty good um, but like I said it's deceiving it does not you know if you wanted to watch your local news you wouldn't be able to watch your local news live you could watch it after it's already aired then you would see the link to it but you won't actually see it live so like I said it's a little deceiving but you know for the first year it's for free so I mean you can't go wrong I mean so you know, if you have any interest in, in, you know, purchasing it, by all means, it's not bad. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, I tried watching, like, Leave it to Beaver and Gunsmoke this morning and streamed very nicely. No lags. The quality is excellent. So, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty good. So, I just figured I'd put that out there um, for this Saturday morning. I'll be, I'll be working most of the afternoon and evening. So, I won't be back until, like, early morning hours of Sunday and uh, again um, Rabbit TV in, in reverting back to my opening statement um, like I said about the channels I really don't much care because I have other channels I can just use or I can just make as many channels as I want so I, I just come back for for myself you know, I make videos for myself. It, you know, it. I enjoy doing wrestling videos and whatnot. And uh, like I said, it's not about the subscribers. It's about the views, and the views are there. And so it doesn't really matter. So again, when it when it comes to trolling, Brandon, you're one of the biggest ones out there. Unfortunately, you used to be a good friend, but now you try to do things and try to push the blame off on everybody else so that doesn't matter like I said I already know who's behind it all you know and I personally it's I'm letting other people do their job I'm just enjoying myself so that's how it is you know when it comes down to it when it's all said and done things will come out in the wash they always do so you can't stress over it. It's not worth it. So that's it. Do what you got to do. I do what I got to do. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. So no stress here. So everybody, peace out. Have a great Saturday. See you all next time. This is the Iceman.